Hello, my name is Philip Edu. I just want to give you a brief information about how to create framework matrices or framework matrix if it's one. So um, let's say you finish analyzing your data in terms of the coding, you finish coding your data and you just want to create a summary table that has all the significant information on a table with, uh, and with all the themes and you know you can make the themes in the column right and also the row will be all the um, articles that you analyze or all the interview transcript that you analyze you could create that just to help you to get all the significant statement or information you call it on one table so sometimes you can call it a summary table. Um, so how do you create that? First of all, um, as you can see here, these are articles that I have. Sometimes you can also think about this as um, inter interview transcript. Um, before you create framework metrics, you first have to create node, case node for each of the document, right? So in this case, we have to create a case node for all the document I have here. So how do you do that? I've already done that when you go to code, I have already created that here, um, but I just wanna show you how to create a case node. Um, so a case node is all is, um, you are just creating containers for each of the documents that you are going to analyze, right? So when you go to sources, you go to internal, you write, you click on the first one and you you um, click on shift and um, click on the last one so that it highlights everything. Um, so you um, right click on what you have highlighted and then you can go to um, create as and then you can create cases right click on the case and then you'll be able to so when you click on this this is what you're going to get the cases for each of the article that you have right so after you have done that you go back to sources and you click on uh, framework matrices right and then the workspace will be shown here to you so you just right click on the workspace and you click on new framework metrics and then this one you give it a name right so i can just type metrics you can give it any name that you want based on the content of the information but you know for the for this example i just type metrics right so after that you go to rows so this one is actually you know, what do you want to be on it uh, to, to be on in the on the row um, so uh, we want the case node to be on the road um, on the row um, of the table so you can just click on plus here and you go where you uh, locate where the no uh, the case nodes are and you check all of them, right? Um, the short way is to just check this place. When you check here, it checks everything, right? And then you click on OK. So all the case node will be here. And then you go, go you click on column. Oh, no, this is the row. And then you column, asking you where do, what information do you want to be. Uh, located in a column so you click on select and this you want then know that you have created right all the know that you have created uh, to be in a column you can choose some of them where which one you are interested in if you want all of them to be in a summary table you can just check all of them or you just check this one and it's uh, select everything for you and you click on OK. So you have all the notes that you have created here. And then you click on OK. So um, this table will be created for you. You can see that it's only the small part is showing. So you can um, right click on this part um, and then you click on Dock so that you can take um, bring the table out for you 
and then you know you have that information here right so this is the table you have all the cases all the articles on the row and then you have the column will be the um, the significant information right so the information in each of the cells are the significant information that you um, you coded right um, let me go back a little bit again so the columns are um, the node that you've created so all the nodes that you created and then the significant information that was in uh, assigned to the node right it will be here in the cell which is connected to the article that you um, analyze or that you took the information from so you can see that this information from this article and this the label that you gave that right so you can also think as I said as when you are um, analyzing a transcript you're going to do the same procedure and you get what you want sometimes uh, when you do this there might not be any information in the cells so what you have to do is to just click on auto summary and when you click on auto summary what will happen is that it will um, the significant information will be populated here right I was fortunate that the significant information was already here so I don't need to click on auto summary but if you see that there's no information in the cells then you have to click on auto call uh, auto summary to bring all the significant information there you can see that some places there is no there's no information it uh, means that there's you haven't coded any information related to this um, theme that is connected to uh, or from this article right so that's all that I have um, you can see that there's a lot of space because I haven't finished coding some of the articles so you can see that there's space here but if I had coded a lot of articles these places will be filled with significant information so this table you can export this table and go to file um, no, I think you can just click on it and spot it and you can um, it's way of um, helping you to know the trend um, go back to the significant information and see how they are related or the relationship you can compare and contrast um, some of the themes with um, or the, or the source of the themes right so this is uh, just a summary table it's like taking significant information from the raw data that you have and taking a second look at it you can uh, present it or you can reanalyze your document and I do reanalyze your data based on this uh, kind of um, metrics that you have normally this is useful when you are doing a literature review using in vivo um, so this is what you could get so this is what I have for you um, thank you for your time